Hello everybody, this will be a video series about the stoves that I use, the camping stove, backpacking stoves. Um, there will be at least uh, three videos, one about the solid fuel stoves, one about the gas stoves and one about the liquid fuel stoves. Um, these are just the stoves that I happen to have and that I use, there might be other ways uh, to use them or better ways but this is just uh, the way it is. I'm going to start for comparison with this one. This is the uh, Dutch Army issued um, solid fuel stove or um, S-bit stove as we call it which is a German invention which stands for uh, Eric Schoms Brennstoff in tabletten form or Eric Schoms fuel in tablets. Um, basically this is hexamine or trioxane is the same stuff as you can see it folds into the sorry very tight package with uh, the tablets inside and this package contains six I'll just pop them out very quickly uh, as you can see so two times three you put a tablet in the middle and this is basically used in conjunction with our put it back together all the time our uh, standard issue mug and bottle so normally how you use it you put the tablet in light it on you put the mug on top and uh, as you can see this really doesn't even want to stay on top so this is a bit cr a crappy system uh, you put your mug on top and you boil your water um, I use this as a backup system because if you boil it like that you have to have another mug to drink from some people use two mess tins it works this system but uh, these tablets are also really nasty stuff uh, the toxins or the, the fumes they produce can be a bit toxic so you really have to use it outside uh, in open air and it takes long to, uh, to cook with this there is no slow switch no maximum power you only have one setting so what I do I store it inside and this is a backup for me every time I use it I put a new package in with six tablets it's quite heavy so although this thing can be light the fuel is quite heavy so if you need a week you need well at least a package a day I think maybe you can do two days with a package depends on um, how much you, uh, you, uh, you, you, you boil or how much you cook so this sucks a quite bit and uh, there is something better as a replacement of this thing and here it is it's quite a big pack so I'll just try to take an all shot with the camera an entire view of it um, this I bought on eBay I saw a video on YouTube uh, and I will explain the reason why I bought this or at least the the, the the first reason why I got this just adjust the camera a little bit because this pack uses green heat so I will take it out this stuff is a uh, ethanol gel which is environmentally friendly okay this is sold as a fire starter for uh, a barbecue uh, it's uh, made in South Africa but you can also use this just as a flame so this package burns also you c it's no waste you can burn it entirely so I keep two of those to go with that burner because as shown in my 
issue thing. I'll show it again very quickly. The gel cannot stay in this burner, in this stove. So now let's take out the other set. The pouch is a um, PLCE utility pouch. So everything is in here for my army cooker, army stove, sorry, and bottle. I would use two separate pouches, but this goes all in one. So we have the fuel. Uh, okay, I've put some tea in it, but lighter also. Every so everything together, I guess. And I will show you what is all in this thing. If I can get it out quickly. So this system has some drawbacks, which I will attempt very soon. It's uh, made by BCB, a British company, uh, which uh, manufactures good stuff and also from the army. So the first drawback on the system is with the pouch. A real PLCE compatible pouch would have a pin here, which is missing. So you can attach this on a belt, run the belt through here, and it's an easy way to carry this. But I don't like it very much. The system comes like this. So. Um, flip it over so we have the normal plastic mug if this thing will focus maybe not will it we have the normal mug plastic a water bottle and a metal cup so how this system works I will go outside in a moment to show it this is the burner, the stove, and in this hole you can also put the gel. You can put the tablets, but also the gel. And the gel is more nice, more environmentally friendly, but okay, that's cool, but it smells less. The, the tablets really are nasty. So you put in your gel, up goes this um, metal, on goes the mug, and cook. Now, in addition, this thing has a lid, which we can pop up, and you could drink out of this as a non-spill mug, but unfortunately, the lid does not fit, it does not fit on the plastic mug. So, you boil your water with the lid, one uh, package is enough to boil the full cup. So that would be how much? So half a liter mark here, so three quarters of a liter. And then we pour it in the plastic mark. This system also comes with a metal handle to suspend your mark over a fire, like so. Uh, the drawbacks, as said before, on all the solid fuel stuff is there is no um, adjustment in heat it's full out all the time so this is good to boil water but really to cook something you know uh, with a little frying pan it sucks a bit um, this system is quite heavy quite bulky but you can take it with you uh, very easily you fill this up you pack it all together so I have everything if I go on a hike, small hike, something to make a cup of tea or some instant soup or whatever, it's all uh, there. In addition, the green heat gel and the tablets can be used as a fire starter uh, to make your normal fire. So that's an advantage that some of the other systems I will show you don't have. So if it gets sharp again. 
So um, that's it for this system. We'll go outside and test it with some water and see how it performs. Okay, thank you and I'll meet you outside.